Hey everyone, today we're going to be seeing if you can blow your own cell. So recently somebody sent me a video of a janitor riding a skateboard, holding up a cell and then blowing it with a leaf blower and it made him go forward. So let's go ahead and evaluate this and see if that would actually be possible. Something seems a little off here. I have here a mini version of that little setup. It's a car with wheels on it with a strong fan. So first let's put a board in front of it, this polycarbonate sheet here. And let's see if this is actually able to push itself on the ground. Okay, three, two, one. Doesn't go anywhere. But now take the board off. It's not going anywhere. But remove it. <laughs> it actually goes really fast. So you can see that in order for this to even go, I had to take off the board that it was blowing on. Without it, it was able to fly freely. Okay, so first we're gonna be trying it out just like I saw in the video. The cell in front of me, and I'm gonna be shooting it with the leaf blower here. So let's see if it actually works. Okay, three, two, one. Doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Not going anywhere. <laughs> to do to get this to work, take off the sail, turn the other direction, and there we go. Woo! <laughs> but why is it that when there's this board in front of it, it won't go? There's air pushing on it, so why doesn't it push it forward like that? Well, let's look at the forces involved here. Okay, so right now this weighs zero grams. Okay, and then turn on the fan. It weighs 22 grams. So you can see that when I turn on the fan, that's the equivalent of putting 22 grams, or turn it to force, 0 0.05 pounds force in this direction. Now the only reason that works is because it's throwing air in this direction and due to the propulsion of mass in this direction, it gets pushed the opposite direction. But now what happens when we put this in front of it? Now turn on the fan. So you can see that when we put this on it, it basically weighed about the same on the scale. There was no real significant force on it. And we know there's no real significant force because it doesn't go anywhere. It can't even overcome the friction of the wheels to move. So why doesn't it move? It's because the fan is still throwing air in this direction, but then when it hits the sheet right here, it creates a force in the opposite direction. So this fan is throwing the equivalent of 22 grams of air that direction, which makes it want to go this direction, but then those 22 grams of air hit this and make it want to go that direction, so they exactly balance each other out and it doesn't go any direction. So of course, if you want to move somewhere, if you want to be moved somewhere with air, you can't let it hit a plate in front of you. You have to let it blow off in the other direction and then you can go this direction. I look like a fool because everyone's like, that doesn't work. So you need either the leaf blower or just the sail, but not both of them together. So let's try just the sail. Come on, wind. Now, if only I could steer it. <laughs> so thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section and I'll try to get to them. And check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab uh, experiment boxes. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.